This object is called a backrest of a litter, and it's from the central Andean region um, by the Chimu. And a backrest, so it's a backrest, and the litter is something that we would have used to carry someone on. So this is just the back portion. And it's a really important piece in the collection just because there's so much of it still intact. We have so much paint left. These are pieces of copper sheet. And there's shell inlay. And on top of some of the copper sheet, there's actually um, little pieces of textile and in some cases where the textile is gone you can actually see a pseudomorph where um, you can just see an imprint of where the textile was so you can actually see the weave pattern and that's very interesting. Um, I'm not sure exactly why the um, textile was on there but we have some of it left behind. This has been an interesting project just because of the problem solving that has been involved in terms of um, treating it. So we have some areas, right now it's lying down horizontally because there are some areas of the paint that are um, underbound and they have started to have a gap between the top surface and the, sub, the wood substrate and so these areas have started to fragment and if we put it upright they will literally fall off the front of the object and because the paint is such an integral part and a re one of the reasons this is such an important object we really want to keep it um, in place as much as possible. So one of the common issues with matte paint, one of the reasons it is matte is because there's a low binder to pigment ratio. So there's very little binder holding each of those pigment particles together and, and holding them onto the surface. And what appears to have happened is that there's a, this would have been you know, in the ground and or covered with dirt in some ways and in some places. And, the soil on the top surface appears to have, in a sense, consolidated the paint and it's actually holding it together on this upper surface, but underneath there's very little binder and nothing holding it together. So you have created this um, coherent layer on the top and so it's starting to pull away from the, that um, under layer. And so one of the things that we need to do is consolidate the paint. These pieces of copper sheet, the metal um, elements, have developed what we call, um, co uh, in some cases, bronze disease. And this is a copper chloride uh, or a chloride um, corrosion. And so, um, from your vantage point, they're not as obvious, but they're big, kind of puffy, light green and bluish um, areas. And copper or chloride corrosion is um, something that will, it's a cyclical um, corrosion issue that, in that when you have the chlorides there, it will just um, continue and keep progressing unless you can actually remove the chlorides from the surface. And um, usually we add, uh, we'll apply a, a corrosion inhibitor in order to prevent it from continuing forward. Right now, um, really it's just in the beginning stages of the actual treatment. We're still doing some testing for the adhesive choice in um, trying to find something that will maintain the, the color that we have here.